right, so we're going to we're going to begin the the glossary, which is really the in a way it's a summary of the book with the key concepts presented in alphabetical order. So um, it may be that this is a useful way of, in a way, as I say, summarizing the whole book through through the main ideas that are described briefly in alphabetical order in the book. Okay. Okay, the next word is the term aura, A-U-R-A, -A, aura. An aura, as I use the term, is a radiant manifestation of presence. Although our presence to each other is invisible, it is nevertheless palpable as a kind of energetic field of being or emanation. So even as I'm talking to you, my quality as a human being, my presence, to the extent that I can manifest it here, here I am reading a book to a camera in a small room, it's weird in some ways, but uh, to the extent that I can, can manifest my presence to you, you experience it not as something you can see or touch, uh, not, it's not an empirical thing like this table, my presence, it's rather something that comes out of me. And when I use the term aura in the book, it's to capture the radiance that I have or don't have. It's the radiance of my presence, the radiance of presence in a particular social context. It has an aura. The bank has an aura. If you go into a bank, the aura is flat. And then the atmosphere is, is metallic is its aura, the typical bank. It is not a warm or inviting or embracing scene to go into a bank. The aura of that kind of coffee house or whatever, you know, is quite different. And so it's the, it's the kind of radiance that is emitted by a person or by a rotating environment. That's, that's how I use the word aura.